Manufacturing analytics is really a loosely defined software term. Essentially what it's doing is collecting data from a lot of different sources. So it could be people, it could be machines, other pieces of software in the manufacturing environment, compiling it together in an easy to understand format to help you make decisions about what happens on the factory floor and how you can improve it. There's a lot of solutions out there that claim to be manufacturing analytics and there's a lot of parts and pieces that make up these solutions. Some of them are expensive, some of them are custom built, some of them are relatively inexpensive and out of the box. And they all provide different levels of information for you. So for example, there are very expensive solutions that use machine learning and statistics to really understand and find anomalies in the manufacturing environment. Those can be very expensive and they're typically built for process companies like oil and gas, utilities, uh, chemical plants, things like that. In the discrete world, manufacturing analytics doesn't have to be expensive and it doesn't have to be complex to really get good value out of the software. They can provide things like planned versus actual. Am I achieving my schedule? Where do I have quality problems? They can also pull in things like process data, temperature, pressure, speed, current draw, and correlate that together with your production so that you can find out what's actually causing your problems. There's two ways you can do manufacturing analytics. You can buy an off the shelf software that does it for you, or you can build it yourself. So let's talk a little bit about the differences between build versus buy when you're building manufacturing analytics applications. So manufacturing analytics typically sits on top of all of your IOT data on top of your MES, it's pulling in data from your ERP system. So there's a lot of steps that you have to go through to gather this data, develop connectivity to your machines or buy that connectivity, connectivity to the software within your organization, or again, buy that connectivity. Then you have to get all of this data into one place. And then the hardest part is you have to make sense of it. So you have to make it meaningful or put context around it. So when you think about manufacturing, those are the context is what shift was it? Which machine cell line am I running on? What part am I making? Potentially, who are the operators running on that machine? What are the um, you know, acceptable parameters for certain things? So upper and lower control limits for process data. All of that stuff has to be built into a system to be able to make it meaningful. Then you have to have some sort of visualization tool on top of it if you're going to build it yourself, typically that's Tableau or Power BI. If you're going to buy a solution, typically that's built in out of the box with connectors to Tableau or Power BI. And then the other big missing piece if in the build versus buy or things that you have to think about is manual data collection. So very few plants around the world are 100% automated, especially in discrete manufacturing. They require some sort of manual input to understand what are we currently running? Maybe understanding scrap, even downtime. Like machines typically don't know that somebody took a break or they went to lunch um, or you know, there's no staff today to run the machine or there's no demand. So you have to have a way to be able to collect that information, contextualize that information, combine it with all the automatically collected uh, data as well. So you can buy off the shelf solutions for manufacturing analytics. You can build your own. The benefit of buying off the shelf is you get value now. The, va the benefit of building your own is you control it yourself. You can build exactly what you want. However, it's probably gonna take you a year or so and a significant investment to make it happen. How do you make manufacturing analytics really work? So something we talk a lot about at Sensor Tracks is start small, think big, move fast. A lot of people, when they do analytic solutions and data collection solutions will tell you collect all the data because you never know what you wanna do, what, what it could be useful for. Uh, we think the opposite. We think you should start with some sort of hypothesis of what is it that I'm trying to improve, right? Do I wanna reduce downtime? Do I wanna increase quality? Do I wanna increase throughput? Do I wanna increase visibility into what's happening on the factory floor? What data do you need to actually make that happen? Because if you focus on what data do I need and only collect and look at the data you need, then you can improve that. And that's all you're focused on. And you can validate that. And you can work from that. If you're collecting hundreds of data points on all of your equipment, you will drown in data and it will actually be worse than having nothing at all. 
because you're going to try to find patterns in this huge pile of data that go against your gut, right? And your gut's probably smarter because you've been in the manufacturing industry for a long time. So our suggestion to making manufacturing analytics really work is start small, think big and move fast. So plan for the future. This is think big plan for the future when you could use all of that data and you understand the small data that really matters and then grow into it over time. More than likely all that historical and process data doesn't isn't relevant by the time you get around to it. You can collect it, you can do meaningful things very quickly, um, but really resist the urge to collect it all just because you can. At the end of the day, manufacturing analytics does one thing. It gives you visibility. With that visibility, you can do all kinds of other stuff, but at its core, it's telling you what is going on and giving you automated real-time visibility into what that is. And then from there, you can use that information to either automatically create work orders because uh, you need maintenance done on a machine to update your schedule, to understand where you have access downtime, to understand if a machine is not performing the way that it should be. All of those things are value gained from visibility. At the end of the day, manufacturing analytics gives you visibility to understand what's going on and to be able to improve it. Because like the quote says on the front of all of our slide decks, if you can't measure it, you can't improve it.